I proudly and officially announce the world-class global final of 2013 has commenced. <laughs> Lebanon, <laughs> Ben Nabil, Morocco, Moses Terra Saenz, Mexico. Well, here we are, it's the Côte d'Azur. We're on the Azamara journey, and this is the opening night of World Class 2013, the search for the world's best bartender. Over the next five days, we go from 44 to 16 to 8. But we've got four round one challenges. We're taking them to Saint-Tropez. We're asking them to show us Mediterranean cocktails, cocktails about the can red carpet inspired by movie stars. It's going to really test their skill, creativity, and their personality. World class is very special because, first of all, it's a beacon to any bartender around the world. If you have that ambition to become the world's best bartender, you can get there through world class. <laughs> okay, and we don't need too much dilution on it. We don't want the tomato to split. We just want to put a slight chill on it. It does to a spirit. It, it, adds, it adds extra, extra dimensions. So we're not going to be shy with this. And again, what I sort of think that... When we're Mediterranean flavors, unfortunately, we do love Asian flavors, actually. So I went to Google. So I Googled Mediterranean. <laughs> 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 I'll put a little bit of the tank red 10 as well. Two cocktails will do 30 mils per day. I wanted to do a version of, um, of my favorite. <laughs> it's a really good uh, vodka to mix with it. It's a It's a one. Yes. It's a one. something madam here we go how would you like it on the rocks or would like some uh, yeah. uh, Brazilian they just drink it on it you don't need anything else unbelievable got it you got it come on guys